The village of Sodato in northern Spain was a remote, unremarkable farming community. Unemployment was high and most of the farmers were heavily in debt. Yet the village would change forever one fateful December morning as the entire village won the Spanish Christmas lottery jackpot, popularly known as El Gordo, Spanish for the fat one. In Spain, a lottery retailer typically sells just one or two specific numbers for the draw. This means that it is very common for all local lottery players to share the same number. This is exactly what happened in Sodato, and when 58,268 was announced on the 22nd of December as the winning number, more than 100 million euros flooded into the village. One farmer was on his tractor when he heard the news. It took several phone calls to convince him, but once he realized it was true, he ran as fast as he could to the central plaza to celebrate. The village hairdresser was besieged by women who wanted their hair done for the television cameras that were now arriving. Not today, she told them. There is no way I'm working. El Gordo proved to be a godsend for Sodato. Most of winners invested the money in their farms and paid off their debts, and the local construction industry benefited from the financial windfall too. The craftsmen and construction workers of the village had plenty of work once again, since many of the lucky winners indulged in long overdue renovations of their homes. The unluckiest man in town. Only one person missed out. Kostas Mitsotakis, a Greek resident who had been living in the village since 2006, was unfamiliar with the buzz surrounding the Spanish Christmas lottery, so didn't buy a ticket. Yet as the champagne corks in the 250-person village started popping, Costas didn't bask in self-pity. A filmmaker by profession, he got his recording equipment out and started filming, capturing so much footage of the happy moment that he was able to produce a documentary that has since been watched by millions of people across Spain. Today, the Spanish Christmas lottery in its £2.1 billion prize pool is more popular than ever. So much so that increasing numbers of Brits are betting on the outcome. Just ask Jack from the West Midlands, who won an incredible £421,000 by placing a bet with Lottoland. The winner of the record-breaking $2 billion Powerball lottery jackpot has purchased a $25 million mansion in California. Edwin Castro was identified as the sole recipient of the Powerball jackpot in February, after winning the prize in November. Castro chose to accept the award as a lump sum, which meant he walked away with $997.6 million before taxes after purchasing the lottery ticket at a gas station in Altadena, California. However, apart from his name, little details have been revealed about Castro until this week, when real estate publication Dirt reported that he'd purchased a mansion in the wealthy California suburb Hollywood Hills. According to the outlet, Castro received a $5 million discount off the 13,578-square-FT home's original asking price of $30 million. As for the amenities he'll be able to enjoy in his new abode, Dirt reported that the home, which was built by developer Roman James, features five bedrooms, six bathrooms, and two powder rooms. Additionally, the three-story house features a main level consisting of walls of glass, which allow for a seamless connection to the landscaped backyard, outdoor kitchen and infinity pool. The home, which is built into the side of a cliff, also boasts a gym, movie theater, wine cellar, cold plunge pool, and sauna on its lower level, while the upper level includes a private balcony and a rooftop deck. Castro will also be able to splurge on cars, as the home comes with two garages capable of storing seven automobiles, the dirt reports. The home's expensive price tag is not surprising considering the location and amenities, as the Hollywood Hills area of California, which is home to celebrities such as Jimmy Kimmel and Ariana Grande, has an average price point of $1.9 million, according to real estate site Zillow. Although not much is known about Castro, Dirt reports that he is thought to be in his early 30s. As for what we do know about the new multimillionaire, he revealed in February that he was raised in California and attended the state's public schools. The unusually large prize helped raise a record-breaking $156 million for California's public school system, drawn from ticket sales within the Golden State. Although he did not attend the press conference where he was identified as the winner, Castro shared the personal information through a statement, in which he expressed his happiness that California public schools would also be benefiting from the lottery prize. As much as I am shocked and ecstatic to have won the Powerball drawing, the real winner is the California public school system, 
Castro said. The mission of the California Lottery, which is to provide supplemental funding for California public education, both public schools and colleges, makes this a huge win for the state. As someone who received the rewards of being educated in the California public education system, it's gratifying to hear that as a result of my win, the California school system greatly benefits as well. During the press conference, Lottery Director Alva Johnson acknowledged that Castro would prefer to largely remain private. As you might imagine, Edwin would like to largely remain private, Johnson said. He understands his name is part of the public record, and now part of history. But he respectfully declined our invitation to appear publicly with us today, understandably so. With his win, Castro became the recipient of the largest prize in the history of the U.S. lottery. After taxes, Castro is expected to walk away with around $629 million, according to Forbes. A California man has filed a lawsuit claiming that a winning Powerball ticket worth $2.04 billion was stolen from him. The plaintiff, Jose Rivera, argues that he bought the lucky lottery ticket from Joe's Service Center in Altadena on November 7, the day before the historic drawing, citing court filings. According to Rivera, a man identified by him only as Reggie, somehow swiped the Powerball ticket from him that same day. The complaint reportedly does not explain the circumstances of the alleged theft. After the drawing, Rivera said, he approached, Reggie, seeking to get his ticket back, but the man allegedly claimed that the ticket did not match all six numbers, but even if it did, he would only agree to split the prize 50 to 50. Rivera maintains in his lawsuit that he refused to be blackmailed, and reported the alleged theft to law enforcement officials and to the California State Lottery, demanding an investigation before the prize is handed out.